This is Mrs. Hartwig, and I just wanted to take a couple minutes to share how we are addressing distance learning in the math classroom at middle school. Um, the tool I'm using right now is called Screencastify, and it's been a great tool for me to present the lessons to my students. It actually allows me to show my own um, whiteboard and to explain and do the work with the students um, the way I would have been doing in class. And so I think it gives them some consistency in how they're learning the lessons. There's a lot of other videos out there, but I think it's easier for them with, ha with explanations that are still coming straight from me. I also, um, we're also still using the regular textbooks. So in some instances, they're just doing textbook assignments like they would have been doing in class and they just take a picture of their work and submit it online to Google Classroom to me. And so there's that consistency, but I also have changed it up a, lo um, a lot. Each week I, I mix it up a little bit. And one of the things I found I um, really liked was the, uh, the, the a, it's a tool called Flipgrid and it allows students to make little short videos, you know, one or two minutes. And um, what I've done is have them make a video explaining to me two or three different problems. So instead of doing a whole textbook assignment, they do a little video. And so in this picture, the student did a video of them actually writing on a whiteboard and explaining it as they're working it. This one, um, this student was able to figure out how to actually write on the screen, overlaying their own image while they're talking and explaining. So it's been pretty cool seeing the different ways they have come up with to use that tool. Now, of course, I, I don't require anybody to do a Flipgrid. If they'd rather do it on paper and turn it in, that's fine too. I, I wanna give them the choice. I have also used um, Google Forms, which allows a little more, um, a little more help with doing graphing things. Those are kind of hard to do when you don't have the right graph paper or things. So instead of having the students graph, I create the graphs and um, present them to them. And then they answer questions about them. Uh, I've also used the, the a tool called quizzes, not necessarily that they're quizzes, but it's a different way to present their homework to me and in the form of a quiz. Again, it works well with graphing things so that they don't have to um, draw the graphs. And these are um, questions I can create on my own or they are um, pre-made ones that I can pull different questions into a quiz that fits what we're doing that week. Um, and finally, one of the tools that's been really useful to me um, in presenting material to them is a, a tool I discovered called Equatio. And as you, know, as you are, you may be familiar with you know, mathematical um, context on a keyboard is very difficult. And what Equatio does is it lets me um, just write out a problem and it converts it into math text and lets me insert that into a document how wherever I want, however I want. And so that's been a great tool in, in writing math lessons digitally. So those are just a little overview of some of the new things we've been trying. Um, I would like to say thanks to all the parents for everything you have been doing. And um, I, I appreciate all the work the kids have put in and we will all get through this together. <laughs>